Informatica Global Customer Support How to use Mapping Architect for Visio, MAV, or Data Stancing In this multimedia knowledge base, you will learn the following. Introducing Mapping Architect for Visio, MAV. Using MAV through the user interface. Creating a mapping template from a new drawing in Visio. And importing a Power Center mapping in Visio. Using Import Mapping Template Wizard in Power Center Designer, prerequisites and steps for importing a mapping template. Using Map Gen command line to create mappings based on published mapping templates created in MAV. Mapping Architect for Visio is a tool that helps you in creating a mapping template using Microsoft Office Visio. A mapping template is a diagram that you use to represent objects in a power center mapping. You can use rules and parameters in a mapping template to specify the extraction logic and use the mapping template to create power center mapping. MAV is installed when Power Center Client is installed. It is supported on the same platforms that Power Center Client support. MAV contains a Visio stencil with shapes that represent Power Center mapping objects. The mapping template is comprised of mapping objects available in the Informatica stencil. To use the data stencil, the Visio client, you need to have the following. Microsoft Visio 2003 Microsoft.NET Framework 1.1, Service Pack 1. Using Mapping Architect for Visio through User Interface, with Power Center 8.6.0. Creating Mapping Template using MAV. A mapping template can be created from MAV, using one of the following. By importing the mapping which is already created in the designer. By creating a mapping template from a new drawing. To create a mapping template by Importing a Power Center mapping, go to Start, Programs, Informatica Power Center 8.6, Client, and select MAV from the list of Power Center clients. Click Enable Macros. Creating a mapping template by importing a Power Center mapping in Visio. Click on Create Template from Mapping XML button to get the Power Center mapping XML. The Power Center mapping will be displayed on MAV. Creating a mapping template using a new drawing in Visio. Use the appropriate icons on the left pane of Visio and link them to create a mapping template. Then, click on Validate Mapping Template to ensure that the template is valid. Then, click on Publish Template button to create Mapping Template XML file and Mapping Template Parameter file. Provide the required location, file name, and click Save. There are two files created while publishing Mapping Template. Mapping Template XML file and Mapping Template Parameter file using the Import Mapping Template Wizard. To use the Import Mapping Template Wizard, verify the following prerequisites. Source and target definition should exist in the repository. Source definition database names should match in mapping object properties and in the active repository folder. There should be shortcut destination in a shared folder. Target definition should be linked to at least one transformation. To generate the mapping, go to Mapping menu in the Power Center Designer and select Import Mapping Template. In the Import Mapping Template page, browse to the template file. and click Next. Click the Add Mapping button to define the mapping and specify the values for the parameters. To use an existing mapping template parameter file, click Use Existing button. Select the existing parameter file. Select the values for parameters from the drop-down list. And click Next. In the next step, the list of mappings that you configured are displayed. Select the mappings that you want to generate. Select the Create Single Mapping 
option to create one mapping with multiple pipelines. To save the parameter values for the selected mappings, click Save Parameter Values, and click Next. In the next step, select the Generate Sessions or Workflows with Single Session, when you want to create session and workflow from imported mappings. When you select this option, you will be prompted to configure session, both reusable and non-reusable and workflows. Click Finish to exit from the Import Mapping Template Wizard. Using Map Gen command line, to create mappings based on published mapping templates created in MAV. Prerequisites for the MapGen command. Following are the files required to run the MapGen command. Mapping template drawing file. Save Visio drawing file with .vsd extension using File, Save option in Visio. The MapGen command reads the Visio drawing file to determine the transformations and link rules for the mappings. Mapping template parameter file. When you publish the mapping template, MAV creates a mapping template parameter file. You will have to edit the parameter file to provide the values for the mapping parameters. Source and target definition files. The mapping template does not include the definitions for sources and targets. Export the source and target definitions from Power Center to default folder, Power Center installation directory, client, mapping template, table diffs. The map gen command uses the first definition it finds in the table definition folder. You may specify the folder path name when you run map gen, if a different folder is used. Editing a sample parameter file. The parameter file requires the repository name where you will import the mappings defined in the file. For each mapping in the parameter file, set, name, folder name, description. Modify the parameter file to include values of parameters, source table name and target table name, as source and target. You can create multiple mappings by using the highlighted contents, and setting the parameters to the values appropriate for each mapping. To run the map gen command, use the following syntax from the command prompt. The mapping is created successfully with map gen creating the mapping file named m underscore test.xml. You can use this file to import the new mappings into the repository. You can check mapgen.log, in c colon informatica, power center 8.6.0, client, mapping template directory for log entry. In this multimedia knowledge base, you have learned the following. Using MAV through the user interface, by creating a mapping template from a new drawing in Visio, and from Power Center mapping imported in Visio. Using Import Mapping Template Wizard in Power Center Designer, the prerequisites and steps for importing a mapping template. Using MapGen command line to create mappings, based on published mapping templates created in MAV. If you have any feedback on this multimedia knowledge base, please email your comments to kb underscore feedback at informatica.com. Thank you.